Hi guys, welcome down to Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. And I'm on the putting green because I've got some very special putters to review. These are the new Scotty Cameron range. I've got the Scotty Cameron Select and I'm also going to then move on to the Scotty Cameron Futura. Two different ranges that have come out from Scotty Cameron this year uh, with both different qualities to them. I'm going to review the select range first. Not every single putter, but a few of them that catch my eye. And I'm starting with the Scotty Cameron classic Newport design. So the very classic blade style. You've got the three cherry drops at the back, very classic again, Scotty Cameron. Um, you've got two weights in the bottom, which is going to help with stability. And this is a stainless steel head with a stainless steel insert that behind that insert, there is a, a padding to give that softness of the feel. It is a milled face and I am super excited about reviewing these putters because Scotty Cameron, just as a putter range, is so top end. It comes with the price point, granted, but it is so top end because the quality and the construction that goes into these putters is second to none. I got fitted the other day as well by Nick Sharples, a fantastic Titleist expert, and he was saying 34 inch is a good length of putter for me. And ideally one a bit a little bit more face balanced. I've got some face balanced ones in the range. More of the Futura face balance because the way that the heads are designed. A lot more of the select range are actually more toe hang. This got a little bit of toe hang, so it's going to help a stroke with a slight more arc. I'm going to give, give it a go anyway. What I love about Scotty Cameron's of recent years is they've invested in proper grips. I never liked the Scotty Cameron old grips where they were thin and quite almost quite cheap feeling, where these feel top end, very squishy and soft and a little bit thicker than normal. This has just got one simple line on the top, on the uh, leading back edge, and it is such a gorgeous putter. It's very well crafted. You almost feel like Scotty himself has actually created this. Let's give this a roll, see how it feels. So straight away you think it's going to be a hard feel because it's stainless steel, but there's that padding behind the face that gives it a slightly softer reaction. Oh, that was a terrible putt. That was a straight out pull where I think normally I would prefer a more face balanced putter. That was a terrible putt. It does feel great off the face. Really much softer than I actually anticipated it to be. That little face insert does give a, an extra bit of padding. I don't think that style's going to ever suit me, but the feel of it was very nice. I like the feel of the putter indeed. So let me go for a design that I think would suit my eye a little bit better. And the one that catches my eye, and this involves more technology and more design features, is the M2, the Scotty Cameron Select M2 putter. This is a much bigger putter going back. It's got an alignment in the middle, which I think suits my eye a lot better, more of a cross. And that cross is actually all incorporated with the sole and the face. So it's a stainless steel body, but it's got an uh, aircraft aluminium face with that little bit of squish as well behind it that's been inserted on top. And then also the same insert has been extended through the putter to give that cross effect at the, at the top end. Big fan of that. Just the, the actual engineering work that's gone into that is quite incredible. I can line this putter up a lot, lot better. This gives me a lot more help. I would say that the Futura range gives more visual help than the Select range, which I will move on to, but this gives the most help in the Select range. That aluminium insert gives a slightly more, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna say it plasticky sound. Gives a little bit more of a clicky sound as you hit the putter. It, it still gives the same softness, but it's a, it's a, a slightly clickier noise off the face. Aircraft aluminium. Must be good. <laughs> yeah, much clickier noise off the face. Right, start going a bit more aggressive with these putts now. I'm trying to dolly them in. In the back door, one more with this one with the M2 Select. 
different noise completely. Compared to the, the new port and the other new ports, all the new ports has the stainless steel insert where the M2 and this model, which is the M1, has this aluminium insert. And then you've also got the counterbalance notch back, which also looks, so by the colouring, has the, the different insert. And I'll show some close-ups to show you the difference. The aluminium in, insert is a little bit more of a darker grey, where the stainless steel is a much, it just looks like the same putter. Let's try this M1. M1 is more of a half moon shape, but still with the same technology of that insert going from the face to the bottom, also straight through the putter. I'm, I'm a big fan of this cross at the back. It helps with a sight line and also alignment of the face. It feels like it's helping with both sections to that. They're beautifully handcrafted. They look gorgeous. Now this one suits my eye a lot better. Getting a nicer roll on this putter as well. And I would imagine this is less, yeah, it's less toe hang. So the one that I didn't get on with was this one, which had much more toe hang. I don't know if you can just make that out. You can see that the new port, the one at the bottom, the toe of the putter hangs much more downwards, where the M1 and the M2 that I've just tested, the face is slightly more balanced, which would suit my putting stroke slightly better. And that's something I'd always make sure that you're fully aware of when getting a putter fitting, is which actually of these styles are gonna suit your eye the most? Which one of them are gonna suit your stroke? Typically though, if you go and test putters at a shop, you'll pick ones that suit your stroke because you'll hold more putts with it. Like this one, that would be horrendous for me. This is the Newport 3. Very, very toe hang putter. So would suit much more of, a, of an arc and much more of a toe flow stroke. Uh, I find that a little bit too unpredictable for myself. I like to try and keep it as straight as I can. I'm gonna finish off the review with this putter. This is the, this is the Newport 2, but it's the notch back and it's the counterbalance putter. So this is now 38 inches, but typically on, on uh, counterbalance putters, you grip lower. You don't grip to the top, you grip three or four inches down on the grip. So more like a 34, 35 inch putter. This has got the, it also again looks like the aluminium insert, but the, put, the insert doesn't wrap underneath and through the putter. This is just on the insert of the face. Let's see what this counterbalance putter feels like. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, it feels really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a couple of long putts as well with the stainless steel and the aluminium face just on a few long putts here as well. So we're gonna try some longer putts now. This is the new port, the first one that I tried, which I don't think massively suits my stroke, but I wanna get a bit of an idea on feel on these longer putts. Oh, lovely soft feel. You, you kind of think because it's so stainless steel and silver, it's going to be much harder. And actually it comes out, it comes out so much softer. I really like that. I like the softness of the feel of the new port. Let's try this one now. This is a select M2. Slightly different insert on this, but coming from the same family of putters. So much more clickier noise. When you hit them side by side on long putts, you definitely get the feeling that the sound off the face is so different. I don't think it feels awfully different. Consistent there, anyway. I don't think it feels awfully different. It's just the sound that's giving me a different feeling off the face, that's all. So Scotty Camera Select range. Massive fan of the slightly bigger models in this range for me. However, the feel and the sound off the Select, the Newport models, is really outstanding. I love that feel. If it's a putter where 
you do have more of an arc to your putting stroke and don't mind a bit more toe flow to a putter. I think the select normal with, with the stainless steel insert actually feels tons better. The, the select range that has this like aluminium wrap around and through, I love it for the advantage of sight line and alignment is tons better. It just gives that slightly clicky noise. So just be warned about that. It doesn't feel awfully different. It just has that slightly different sound, which then gives it the, the, the you know, the sound and fe feel and sound are also very connected in. So the select putter cover as well, silver, red with the uh, stitching at the top. And one thing I really miss about the Scotty Cameron head covers, whatever happened to the pitchfork that used to be on the side? but still very, very cool design, furry inside. But hey, bring back the pitchfork, that's what we say. As always, Scotty Cameron makes phenomenal putters. What I love about them, and certainly Scotty himself, is that he keeps evolving and keeps pushing the barriers, seeing what is new and what's out there. And that's what's gonna move us nicely into the Futura range. Futura range is almost like Scotty Cameron that's just gone, oh my God, I've got so much more technology now, Let's pump it into a range of putters. So the Futura range I'm gonna review next. Um, select range, big fan of the models. Uh, there's loads of different types. I prefer, personally for myself, the M1 and the M2. I'm sure that name's been used somewhere else as well. M1 and M2, I'm a massive fan of these two. I don't think I could really separate them. Possibly the M1 because of that slightly more moon shape to it, but real big fans of those. Um, I love the grips, I love the feel of the putters, but like with every Scotty Cameron, you pay the price for these putters, they're expensive. But if you want the best, you've got to pay for them, you've got to pay for it, because these are phenomenal putters. Guys, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe, comment below what do you think about Scotty Camerons? Do you, do you like them, have you had them, or, or do you find them a bit too expensive? Let us know in the comments below. And then we're gonna move into the Futura range coming next, where there's some funky, funky designs. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.